one thing I ask. Hey friends, it's Ivy here today, and today we have a Styling for Periods 101. I came up with this brilliant idea of making this video when I was literally on second? No, probably not. Third day period, that sounds about right. So this first outfit we have here is for a work and office outfit. When I'm in the office, because I'm sitting down for eight hours a day, I just try to find something that's super comfortable for me. I bloat a lot on my period and I just try to find something that doesn't necessarily like squeeze my stomach too much. So I basically just try to style my whole outfit around these jeans which were perfect for this occasion and let me tell you i've worn these jeans on my period numerous amount of times and they have not failed me yet i decided to throw this nice coat over it just to make it a bit more classy chic but also you know as a nice covering for your backside just in case there is any leakage second outfit we have here we're taking the same sweater top because it's such a great layering base and we're throwing over these plaid pants I mean, it's all so these high-waisted pants are amazing although they don't have pockets as you can see with my realization here i still think they're so great because they're super duper stretchy great for my bloating and also you can undo the buttons as well to help relieve myself when i'm sitting down and yes i will literally sit down at my desk like this with my buttons undone they're honestly so comfortable you can get so much movement out of these pants and they're high-waisted so they definitely look super flattering on you again throwing over this blazer for comfort and security so that so I don't have to constantly be anxious thinking about leakage at the back of my mind. Oh wow, honestly, I don't know who got this live footage of me when I was at work, like, the accuracy. Okay, so my motto when I'm just not feeling great is throw something cute on and you will automatically feel cute yourself. Although this outfit is not super realistic, something that you really want to wear while on your period, I decided to throw it on because it helped me get in such a better mood than how I was feeling when I was on my period. I felt cute, I felt boss, I felt powerful in this, and yeah, that's all we could really ask for when on our periods. This outfit is really great for when on your period because again, the skirt is super high-waisted, and even the coloring scheme, if you've kind of noticed with everything that I've been wearing, I tend to steer towards obviously very dark colors blacks and we have here the fourth and last work outfit it's definitely for more of a casual cool relaxed work environment this is an outfit i used to wear a lot when i was working in retail i love this skirt it is perfect because it is such a thick durable material like look at this it pairs perfectly with any kind of outfit it is great especially if you're doing such laborious work throughout the day especially if you're working in retail you know um carrying clothes around serving customers all that and really feels so durable and you genuinely don't have to worry about leakage in the skirt when you are on your period how do your cramps feel i feel like mine can come and go in waves different seasons different months as i found out the hard way unfortunately the world doesn't stop for me when my period happens you know people still want to get married people still want to have baby showers people still have birthdays which is very very inconsiderate of them not to consider the fact that i'm literally bleeding out of my and honestly in so much pain but you know we push through i decided to show you guys a couple of celebration kind of outfits event kind of outfits this outfit for obvious reasons is amazing for when you're on your period rather than you know hiding from it let's just steer into the skid if you see me at an event wearing some kind of red dress or something like that just know that i am on my period i love this dress because it is very very flowy definitely no anxieties here when it comes to leakage with this dress with all the cute details the open back the long sleeve the frilly arms and like the v-neck at the front just leaves me feeling so cute and so put together i barely had to add any accessories to this just kept it very minimalistic and just kept the most very minimal heels with this hopefully you'll be able to attend your event feeling very well put together and ready to socialize another outfit option for you guys when on your period here is a deep red burgundy kind of dress this is perfect for when you are on like you know the like last end of your period you know day five day six if your period goes for that long and you know we're kind of just trying to match the vibe match the color that we discharge <laughs> 
sounds really gross. I'm so sorry. But you know what I mean? Like, you know, the old period that you get at the very end of your period. It's not quite like fresh and oh my gosh. I'm so sorry for any guys watching this. This is probably TMI, but you know, women's health we go through this feel very secure in this dress to be able to dance the night away or you know i look like the spanish dancing emoji in her red dress the next outfit idea that we have here is definitely more if you really really just detest wearing like dresses when on your period and you're more of like a pants kind of girl because I can get like that from time to time this is definitely still more applicable as well if you're like going to a 25th or some kind of event that is more like a, a night out honestly oh my gosh I was just about to say a 21st but whoa I'm four years older than that I'm way past that I'm 25 attending 25 year old birthday parties now which is insane it is perfect for this because this is super duper high-waisted and then to add it with a crop top makes it just that little bit more i guess fancier really makes it right for the occasion to make it more of a, of a nightwear kind of look i decided to throw on this leather jacket which i think really just pulls the whole outfit together accentuates all the black in this with different kind of uh black textures in this outfit and overall is just a really really nice outfit to be able to wear with high heeled boots. If that outfit is still uncomfortable for you because you are uncomfortable with wearing crop tops then girl I got you as well. I also have this oversized adidas shirt which I did kind of crop but tried not to show too much of my belly in this. I'm going to try to make it look a bit more formal and a bit more put together. Wearing sportswear sometimes definitely makes you look a lot more casual. If you style your hair and the outfit the right way you could definitely make it look more casual formal i guess this is kind of like if you and your friends are going out to a nice dinner or a, a bar or something like that i guess on some kind of special occasion wear high heels with this slick your hair back completely add some big hoops and wear some nice heels definitely feel very Hailey Baldwin bieber-esque than uh more potato than anything which is great This is probably the most realistic outfit uh, that I've put together for when on your period. I was unsure of who created this outfit trend of the oversized sweater and the bike shorts, but a subscriber, I believe, told me um, that it was actually Princess Diana who really started this trend many years ago. And I was like, wow, she truly is such a queen. I love this trend so much. The, the glasses were a bit too trendy for my liking, but you know, I had them in my closet and I thought I would try to style it with this as well. I definitely think this outfit is so perfect when you're on your period, when you're just running small errands, going to brunch with the girls, going to the markets. And this is me just like really feeling myself in this outfit. I was really trying to be Instagram influencer trendy, like Kylie Jenner, who, um, this is so embarrassing, but you know, I was really feeling myself clearly. When you're on your period, do you feel like you're definitely more social or less social? I honestly don't know like what kind of weather situation would be going on to have this be acceptable, but you know, Hailey Baldwin Bieber does this, so I'm assuming this is fine, but I threw on a blazer on top of that to make it look well more put together as well. Kind of business meeting chic. And here's just an alternate version of that outfit that I showed you before. Rather than putting my hair in a low bun, put my hair in a really slick back ponytail as well i look really douchey here but i'm so sorry this is perfect again for your period especially wearing bike shorts in general underneath all your clothes like whether you're wearing a pencil skirt or pants just really really hugs in your waist and like makes you feel so much more secure in what you are wearing so i guess wearing this just as is is fine enough when on your period because it leaves you feeling so much more secure and not feeling any anxiety at all i threw on a leather jacket to go with this outfit rather than a blazer and i think it still definitely looks it definitely still puts the outfit together a lot more Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe down below and leave a comment down below if you found this helpful at all. Love you guys. Bye.